Hi, gang. Johnny from the Illustrator and Photoshop for Fashion group had a question, and I thought I would answer it in a video. He wanted to know how to go from this to this. So let me show you. Let's delete this one, and we'll bring this one into the center. And actually, let's just we'll grab it and bring it in here. And we're going to start by making sure it's centered on the page. So I'm going to grab the two circles, and I'm going to open up a line, which you can find in the window dropdown. We need to make sure that we're aligning to the center of the page. So I'm going to click on this little hamburger menu here to show options, drop down on Align 2, and select Align to Artboard. And now I can click Center, Center, and make sure that my circles are aligned to the center of the artboard. So that's how I'm going to start. Now to deal with how to place the stars in between. Let's just move these out of the way for the moment. I need to find the center between these two circles, and the easiest way I know how to do that is by using the Blend tool. So we'll select both circles, go up to Object, Blend, Make, and it's going to add a circle in between these two circles. Now, if yours didn't come up with one circle, we need to go to the Blend Options and adjust it. Blend Options can be found in the toolbar right here. I'm going to double-click on it. And we have three choices, smooth color, specified steps, and specified distance. If I switch to specified steps, I can type in any number. And if we turn on preview, you can see it will evenly space from one piece to the other piece. But we only need one. So we're going to go with one and click OK. And there's the center of our two circles. Now, in order to make this easy to delete the center circle later, we're going to go up to Object, Expand, and we're going to expand only the object, not the fill or the stroke, and click OK. And then right-click Ungroup. Now it'll be easy to select and delete the center circle when we're ready. Let's deal with the stars now. I'm going to put one star, and I'm going to first, actually, we'll center center to get it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to use my left arrow to move it over while keeping it aligned center. Or I could hold my shift key and drag it as well and align it right into the center of this space here. But we do have a problem. Let's see, whoops, let's zoom in, not out. And you can see that by centering it on this space, we don't actually get an even spacing between the two circles. So in this case, it's going to be a visual. So I'm going to nudge this over a little further until the spacing between these two lines looks even to me, and I think I've got the spot. Now, how do I get the other star in the exact same place on the other side? And it's actually an easy solution. I don't need to go through the same process, so I'm going to delete the second star. All I need to do is reflect this star to the other side. So I'll select it, click on O to reflect, and then Alt or Option click on my center guideline. Select Vertical and Copy, and now I've got the other star in the exact same place on the other side of my circle. All I need to do now is select the center circle and delete it. And I've got my stars evenly centered on either side of the small circle. And that's how you do it. I hope this was helpful. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And for more courses on Adobe for Fashion, visit lynda.com and type in fashion design.